Welcome. This video will give you a brief overview of Pentai InstaView. Pentai InstaView offers instant and interactive data discovery for big data, providing self-service big data analytics for data analysts working with Hadoop and NoSQL databases such as Cassandra, HBase, and MongoDB, as well as traditional relational and other data sources. And it does this without depending on IT or developers and without needing separate uh, analytics tools which are specific for big data platforms. So in the demonstration, you'll see me go through three steps. Uh, first step is choosing the big data source. Second step is auto preparing the data for, for analysis. And then the third step is visualizing and analyzing the data. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna create a new InstaView. And this is where I get my choice of big data platforms, whether it's a NoSQL database or Hadoop. In this particular case, uh, I know my data is located in the Hadoop file system. So I can go ahead and connect to my Hadoop cluster. So click on the connect button here, and then I can browse the Hadoop file system and locate my, da my data file, where I, which contains the data which I want to analyze. Go ahead and add that. Now, uh, data located in the Hadoop file system typically does not have metadata. Um, this particular file, um, I do happen to have the uh, column names in, in row one. Um, but what we can do is we can actually uh, um, extract the field metadata automatically using, using InstaView. So it's actually looked at the data values within that file and it's figured out the uh, field types, field lengths, and so on. Uh, this is what we call a uh, schema on read. And then uh, just go ahead and click on OK. And now what it's doing is actually taking that data set um, out of the Hadoop file system, loading into a very high performance in-memory column data store, and then dropping me into Pentaho Analyzer where I can now visualize and uh, explore that data. For example, look at it by different dimensions. So look at it by product, uh, by country, and maybe I wanna look at the, uh, the units sold. So I've got a pretty useful kind of uh, table of data here. Maybe I also want to bring in uh, sales data. But it's kind of hard at a glance to you know, see, see uh, these numbers visually. So what I can go ahead and do is actually uh, visualize this data. I think for this amount of data, it's going to be quite useful to look at it as a scatter chart. And I can instantly see, you know, for example, Canada tends to be down in the bottom left in terms of the uh, total sales and units sold, whereas you know, Mexico is in the middle here and the US is in the top right. So maybe I want to focus on the on those outliers in the top right, see which are my best performing products. I can just go ahead and lasso around those values and say just keep those values and then just filter my analysis on, on those areas. Um, I can also uh, view the data. Uh, for example, I can size it by um, the, the costs. So the uh, size of the circle now is, re is uh, relevant to the, uh, to the cost in that particular area. So again, I can see top right tends to be the USA you know, which has the highest uh, sales and units uh, sold, but it also tends to be higher cost. I think another interesting way of looking at this would be breaking it out by state. So I can drop that on my multi-chart, and I can now start to look at this by state. And I can see at a glance, you know, California, this particular product called Ebony Lettuce is doing very well. And if I look at other states like Washington State, I can see Ebony Oranges are doing particularly well in that state, as well as Ebony Tangerines. Um, and then down in Mexico, you know, down in Zacatecas. Again, uh, Ebony Plum is doing very well in that particular state in New Mexico. So, you know, very interesting ways of visualizing data uh, within uh, Pentai InstaView. Um, going back to uh, Pentai InstaView, I can actually also um, enhance uh, the, you know, the default uh, data integration. So I can go into the underlying ETL editor should I wish to bring in different data sources, enrich that data with data from other tables and so on. I can also go in and edit the underlying metadata model so it automatically generated the default metadata model, but I can go in, go in and edit that should I wish to. For example, in this case, it, it generated a geography hierarchy. I could modify that hierarchy should I wish to, you know, make it go from country to city to state, if that made sense for my particular analysis. All right, so that's Pentai Interview. So uh, thank you for, for listening. Um, and if you want to find out more information, please visit, visit us on the web at pentai.com or at pentaibigdata.com. Thank you.